Again, with our Mevo camera, we yep. did our last episode on Mevo, and yep. school's out for the day, but we have a few more things we'd like to talk about. Yep. You know how it is. We just can't stop talking. We can't. It's the pros and cons of live streaming and why teachers might want to use live streaming in their own classrooms. Okay, so Chris, you start. Okay. Like, what's, the one of, what's one pro of live streaming? Well, one of the pros of live streaming is that post-production is the worst part of a you know. video production. Yeah. Yes, I do. I do a lot of the post-production for uh, our, and Joanna does too. And so it's that post-production that can take so long. You shoot it with cameras, it doesn't take that long, an hour or so, and then you spend 10 hours doing it. Well, with a tool like, uh, like live streaming, it's one take. You're not going back and editing it. Um, and that's a real advantage. The production time goes way down. It makes a task like uh, live streaming even more sustainable. Yeah. Another mm -hmm. pro is that it can be very engaging yes. because it's live. People mm -hmm. get excited. You know, you, you're live streaming, but please don't. Don't live stream walking your dog on Periscope. That gets no, to be a little bit no. boring. Yep, that's so yeah. true. Please rescue me from Periscope, by the way. <laughs> I haven't looked at it for a while, though. Right. So, anyhow, what's another pro? Well, uh, your audience really wants uh, to be able to connect with you and to watch your videos. It's a lot more fun to watch a video, to see personalities, to connect with people like that. And they can like interact that. with you, too. And like they can interact. Facebook Live, right, right? They really want to connect with you uh, on video. I was on a, a live stream video with my wife the other night and with 23,000 people viewing. Oh my goodness, yeah, at, really? Yeah, out of control, out of control. It's really, really cool. Oh wow, well mm -hmm. there you go, you have your next new business. <laughs> yeah, I think that the market's going to go down on that really, really fast. Here's one more pro of a live mm -hmm. stream video, which I hadn't really thought about, but your audience might want to watch your video longer. You may grab them in there and they think, boy, this is live, what could happen yeah. next? You know, are they going to fall yeah. off their chair? Are they going to, something weird going to happen, whereas in a recorded video, yeah, they may not watch it, so maybe we should start doing that. Maybe so. <laughs> you know, let, let's talk about a couple of the cons, too. I mean, I think there are a lot of pros to doing some live streaming, but you've got to do it in a time where your audience can watch. Uh, a lot of teachers, there may not be a lot of parents interested in the live stream, say, um, second period. Um, there may, I mean, maybe they are, maybe they will, maybe they'd be interested, but you got to know you got to know a lot about your audience, and it may not work well for your audience. But as a caveat to that, you can live stream, and when you live stream, it records, so people can watch it on demand. Right, yeah, so, yeah. so that, that is mm -hmm. a, a good feature. So your audience would need to benefit some way from a live streaming, just, just being able to, you know, just saying this is a live stream, so mm -hmm. what? But if you sort of post questions on the fly mm -hmm. and they, they answer questions, maybe, you know, they, they would like to do that as opposed to just watching a recorded video and then yeah. posting a question to that and waiting for your response. Right. They get this instantaneous reaction. It's, the, it's that interactive help. You know what would be cool? Do you remember the old homework hotline? that they used to do no. at schools where people would call into a special number on certain nights and there'd be a group of students that were that, that were like posed neat. there. You could do a live stream homework hotline. And uh, students could do that. Would yes, that be so much fun? That would fun? be so much fun. Okay, I love what's it. another con of doing, you know, the, the right. The, the live streaming. Ah, technology can be yeah. one of the cons. Um, right. What Do you have the technology? If you have a cool Mevo camera like this where you can uh, you know, quickly live stream and edit, it's it's really pretty simple that uh, that you... It's simple for you as you're, simple, as, as you're watching also, this. Chris is doing mm -hmm. the editing on the Mevo um, yeah, uh, as you're doing it. So right. a lot of people couldn't do that. I don't think I could do right. it. I'm just doing it on the app right here and just kind of cutting between, uh, between different uh, things. I but, could have, but you yeah. know, but you do have to have, have the tech. You have to have the you have to have the technology. You have to have the bandwidth to yeah. stream your your video and all that sort of stuff. And sometimes maybe mm -hmm. teachers may not have that in the classroom, especially. That's true. It's true. And then one more con is, I probably should relate to this is live streaming can be embarrassing. If what if you do something really stupid or make a weird face or, yeah. <laughs> Or need to, you know, wipe your nose or whatever, but you can't do it. Well, yeah. it can be kind of embarrassing. Or maybe you said something you hadn't, and darn it, it's yeah. there. It's uh, it's there, even if mm -hmm. you delete your video. Yeah. It's there. I hate Smurfs. <laughs> I said it. I can't get it back. It's on It's on uh, yeah. Twitter forever. Yeah. So that's it. Pros and cons of pros live and cons. streaming, folks. If you're going to consider it. Hey, in the comments down below, tell us if you've ever done some live streaming. We would like to connect with the people who are the experts. We might even bring you on... The Cool Teacher Show to ask you many, many questions. In a live stream. Well, that would be cool. Wouldn't that be neat? Awesome. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.